Hector. Oh, I knew we were coming. Hector. Bye. Oh, 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 Hector. 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 What's up, Life Right Nation? So I don't know if I keep jinxing myself or not. But you know how it's like, stepchild's done. No more. We're not doing anything else. This is it. It's ready to go. Well, uh, it's not. On the way out here, my steering started getting harder and harder to steer. And it's got a brand new PSC Ram and a brand new PSC box, steering box that Chris put in. And now, like, I have to put it in neutral, rev it up, trying to get to turn. So all those trails that you just saw getting all the way here to G Beach, it was literally without actual steering idle while in gear i had to put it neutral turn then put it back into into gear so it was kind of a big pain luckily we have some friends <laughs> so we're down here this is ron with red scorpion and yeah. he helped us last year yep. with the demon when we thought we broke an axle what do we think I, I forget what it was it turned out to be beadlock bead bolts locks. <laughs> the bolts on the beadlock freaking were slightly loose and making a popping noise. Anyway, so they're in Tampa and these guys do anything and everything and it's really great to have shops that we can trust all along the country. And so we called PSC, we bought a new pump. Luckily pumps are only like 350 bucks. They're really not bad. Like it's not super terrible, but when you buy the whole thing together, it gets a little pricey. Right. Anyway, he's got a shop here in Tampa. They do everything. He's like, hey, bring it by. We know you guys are always on the go because we're going to hit four or five off-road parks on the way back. And we do need to get out wheeling at some point. True. But you guys have another shop? Yeah, Tennessee. In Tennessee. Where at in Tennessee? Uh, Pigeon Forge. In Pigeon Forge. So Tennessee or down here in Florida, which is pretty cool. We're dropping it in. This is actually Sunday night. <laughs> we're going to go unload. We've been at Jeep Beach all week. The shop's probably a wreck. You guys haven't been here all nope. week. <laughs> so we're gonna get it in, pull it apart. We're hoping that's it. And I got some other stuff I wanna do the Jeep, of course, cause now we're getting into it again. And we just installed a radio, but there's other things I wanna do with that. It's a whole thing, but I did wanna give you guys a shout out and I thank you right it. in the beginning. And if you guys ever need anything, these are the guys right here. Uh, if you're anywhere in Florida, or especially on this side of, this side of Florida, Florida's yep. pretty big. Oh yeah. People don't realize, like from Miami to get out of Florida, it's like a whole day. It's like it, driving to Atlanta. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna come back in the morning and then we'll get to work. And we are back, well, I'm back. We just showed up and they've already got the pump torn out, taken apart. We literally just showed up and it looks like they didn't really have to pull too much out of the way. The fan shroud's still there. They just took the boot and the filter off. Um, but that's all, that's all there and good news because he sent me a video earlier, let me show you. So I was a little worried that it maybe wasn't the pump. And if you look at these, look how tiny these pumps are. It was getting harder and harder to steer. And then he did find that there is quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of shaft play in this. So it's probably leaking internally and the pressure's not as high. Uh, but we do have a new pump. They already got the pulley uh, swapped over. And I don't know what pulley this is. I think this is the factory pulley. Uh, I have to go back a few years, but this has lasted. This PSC setup has lasted through all the abuse. It's been three plus years, I think, since we did this. And it was still working and it wasn't even whining. But um, we do have two different part numbers. So I'm gonna look at these part numbers real quick. They are different, but the pumps are the same and the spacer's the same. So all this does bolt right up and everything's in the same spot. But I'm curious why the part numbers are different unless they just have like a superseded part number now. You do need, obviously, some tools if you're gonna do this because this didn't come with a pulley. We had to reuse the pulley. I want to say, yeah, there's a Chrysler emblem right there. So that has to be the stock. So that's the stock pulley we used. And I don't know if that's normal or not normal to do. Cause if you remember this setup was just kind of sent to us. I had to get different bolts and it was, it was a whole thing. Cause we were like one of the first ones to do this. So I just looked up it real quick. I couldn't really find anything with the part numbers, but also I didn't spend that much time on it. But uh, it just looks like it's their high flow CBR pump, which is 1600 PSI. So uh, the good news is the bolt holes match up and we're just gonna throw it on. But I, I forgot how tiny, it's crazy that these little pumps do that much. And it is to me a significant difference over the stock pump. And I'm not sure what the stock pump puts out, but I know with the stock pump, it wasn't quite able to turn. Like if you're doing a U-turn, you go to turn real quick, you couldn't do that. You had to like just turn. You had to like kind of give it about this much speed where this one I can kind of whip the wheel or even high speed in the dunes. If you pull it pretty quickly, it wouldn't. It was almost like it fought you, which is what they started doing at idle now. And then when it revved up, I could turn. I do think it's actually worth going to this pump, especially a lot of on-road driving, being able to turn quickly, U-turns or high speed desert or dunes, any of that kind of stuff. 
really, really makes it nice. <laughs> it's actually, so. though, what I'm standing on is your steering. <laughs> so was this easier, harder, just about what you thought? What? Because this is a motor swap with a pump that wasn't exactly made for the whole. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, sucks that you don't have a bumper to stand on like most Jeep. But <laughs> yeah. you do have the steering down here that we can stand on and get going. Yeah, but you're, you're kind of doing some yoga. Look, <laughs> there's some yoga poses going on. But besides that, it's actually PSC made some good. Shit. It's not hard to put in. It's really simple. Yeah, it's kind of amazing to make so many different things that'll fit. So oh, it oh. only ha only has two bolts holding the whole PSC pump in, and just take the two lines off, put it back on, put the belt back on, and we're yeah. done. And this, I know this isn't ideal because this should be like the line should kind of feed directly into it. Yes. Uh, but I, that's just kind of where it went. <laughs> <laughs> for now I think we're gonna end up uh, relocating it kind of here so it, it dumps straight down so what, the reservoir you want the feed into the pump to not ever cavitate but we haven't really had a problem because once it's full there's enough you know but it does it only gravity feeds yeah into it um, it's kind of hard to show it's not really it's not really ideal but that's <laughs> as you can see the breath as you can see the brackets uh we're, we're just whipped up in a shop real quick he's like i got some scrap metal if we want i'm like just drill some holes and bolt it in <laughs> that was like the one thing we never we never really got to but uh yeah, yeah. no this is going pretty going we, pretty quick for you yeah we should have been done in about an hour Put the tires off the ground this is the first time you've seen the bumper chop on this yeah yeah it's actually pretty sweet actually i like it that's pretty crazy huh that one's peanut oh oh that one's jelly hey out of the shop Go, 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 go. They did sweep. Yeah, I know. Because know. the dog, oh, okay. Yeah. They did sweep because they. Hector. Oh, I knew we were coming. Hector. Hi. Oh, 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 Hector. Hector. Let go, Hector. Let go, Hector. Let go, Hector. Hector. Oh, my God. He's like, what are you doing? You put it in my face. Don't tempt her. He said, don't tip me with a good time. <laughs> Oh, no. he's, he's in it now. Uh, what? What was that? <laughs> you little gremlin. You almost fell back. Boop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just a potato. I know. I mean, he got the he got the thing. I was the first time to grab it. I wasn't really expecting him to do it, so I didn't really react. All right, so it's pretty much done. It's back in. Uh, there's the pump the box, the reservoir, um, and it's technically not exactly how I'd like. Um, and it's, it's, it's the feed. So this big line here is the feed. And that should feed pretty much directly into this. But as you can see, it goes down and there's a, it dips way down there. Um, it's really not ideal. Uh, really this reservoir should be mounted somewhere up here and it should, cause it gravity feeds and it should feed into the pump. So right now, it's gotta go down and then back up. It's been like this for a while and that's not the problem. I've never heard it cavitate or have any issues, but I need to do something about it. I just don't like it. I just don't like how big that dip is. It really should like come up along here and into here or something. I gotta figure, I don't know why we don't have a straight. If we just had a straight off of that and a 45 off of that, that could probably, that could probably work out better, but that's what it is for now. Uh, we'll get it fired up and see if we can finally steer it idle. It's just one of those fixes, you know, like once it goes in and it's working, you don't have an issue with it, even though you know it's not right. It does bother me in my mind, but you never get around to it because there's so many other things. And this thing's been obviously under construction for quite a while. But yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it for now. And then when I get back, I think we'll need to come up with a different mounting solution and, and get that right, just so it's right. Everything I've done has been the way it's been set up right now for for uh, quite a few years. So I guess you don't fix what's not broke, but knowing it's not right does get to my mind a lot. Anyway, let's wrap it up and, uh, and get on the road. Now, if you empty the whole system, like if you're doing a RAM and you're doing everything, you wanna jack up the front end and turn the wheels, turn the steering wheel, turn the wheels back and forth before starting it. So you can get the RAM filled with fluid and get the system filled with fluid. We only disconnected from here so we should be good um, because the RAM and everything else still has all its fluid in it. Keep in mind, if you're like, you're doing this, you definitely wanna, you definitely wanna have the tires off the ground and go through full, full swings for quite a bit until you're not getting any more air or any more anything out of it before you start it. You don't wanna dry start a, a freaking pump because that's, that's, it'll 
not maybe kill it instantly, but it'll damage it pretty instantly. Okay, he wouldn't let me uh, just start it up. He's like, now nah, we're gonna jack it up anyway. <laughs> it's just precautionary. Um, you never want, because it's, it's metal in there, it's metal on metal. So think about an oil pump. You run an oil pump dry, like it's gonna have metal shavings instantly. So we're gonna do this and then not start it. We'll just turn everything back and forth. Oh yeah, bubbles out the butt. Yeah. Keep going all the way to the right. Uh, I think that might be the last turn you have to go. Yeah, more bubbles. I think we might be good. Okay. Nope. Yeah, you're good. It's right, yeah, it needs more. But it's right at that level. All right, let's start it up and see if I can turn it idle now. Oh yeah. Is that what that's like again? <laughs> I haven't been able to turn it idle in quite a while. One freaking finger, super easy. Yes, finally. Oh, you got a nail in your trailer tire. Yeah, that sucks. Leave it, it's not leaking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you do, wait, you do how many, how many gears? Uh, about 30 a month. This is, uh, this is, this is, <laughs> not this isn't what you guys do, but like that, you guys that's really just idea. knock out gears left and right. Yep. A couple a day, yep. <laughs> that looks like. Holy crap. And you don't have anything for a Dana 60 for her? Oh, here you go. Luna, I got your gears right here. <laughs> and I think we can get this in yours. It'll fit. It'll fit. Yeah. Just shove it in. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? Are you proud of yourself, Brittany? I was. Are you pretty? <laughs> oh, man. Well, it steers with one finger now. Luna got to drive it on the trail, and you said you couldn't even that move was it. Awesome. It's like I had about like having 37s and no like hydro assist. Yeah, yet. it was like manual steering almost. It yeah. was literally manual steering. So I've been so the whole way here. I've been wheeling with basically like what it would feel like have manual steering. 94? You were born in '94. Yes. Holy crap! I just I was a uh, I was a senior in high school. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yikes! That's old. No, we got to grow up at the good times. Like, yeah, we before like like things pre be before, before things could be recorded. Before you could get in trouble doing this. Uh huh. <laughs> Put your foot in your mouth. You got to get away with all the bad things, and nobody knew about it but you and your friends. Now everybody knows about everything because everybody's dumb enough to do this. <laughs> and we make a living on it. Thank you. I'm trying to. How do I? There. It, oh. No problem, guys. I appreciate you guys coming by. And no, he knocked it out right away. Again, just swing by. Or anybody time. here in the every, yeah. <laughs> or anybody. Every time, every time I come to Florida, how do we have an issue? There's nothing here. Like why? Are, the one guy burnt down. Did you? Yeah, that was a kid. That yeah. Who was it? It was a kid. Like a kid. 19 years old. His Jeep. Oh. His Jeep. His transmission overheated. Is from what I heard. His Jeep oh, burnt down oh, on the beach, yeah. like it, like in flames, yeah. gone, done, which really done. sucks. He, needed he needed gears. He needs more than gears hey, now. if your Jeep burnt down, if that's you. If you're watching. I'm sorry that happened, but if you do get another Jeep, you come get some gears done. Not these ones. Just use him <laughs> to to do it. But you don't want those. Those are the bad ones. What are you doing? I'm editing. Well, yeah, editing, organizing footage, all of the above. Can you do me a favor? No. What? Yes. You want me to close out for you? Yep. Okay. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And one more shout out. And one more shout out, of course, <laughs> to the Red Scorpion crew. Guys, as always, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. What's up, I Bright Nation? So I don't know if I just keep jinking, jinking, jink, jinking myself. <laughs>